All right, what is up? What is up? Felt it feels like it's been like a long time, but I really just simply took like a day off or something. I think I don't think I did a day off on Sunday though. I don't actually remember, huh? Well, anyway, hopefully everyone had a good weekend. I think and. Well, I definitely took yesterday off. Today is Tuesday. When was the last time I did a video? It was Sunday, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Close enough. Anyway, uh, Printer Financial uh, launched on Polygon yesterday. But I did kind of decide I wanted to just take yesterday off. Plus, I kind of needed to let the APR, you know, in this case, kind of settle down a little bit. All right? Even though I wouldn't mind, you know, having it behind the YouTube title say, like, you know... Uh, seventy-five percent to hundred fifty percent APR a day, but you know that's uh, that's just, that's obviously not gonna last. So anyway, just have a lot to do. We're just gonna do two videos today because tomorrow I think is the public launch of both Libero and High Point. So I'm not gonna buy a Libero on Phantom, all right? Because that's where they're launching. Because I because I could I'd rather just buy it on Binance Smart Chain. And High Point finally might be launching tomorrow. I'll have to recheck because I think it's like 24 hours after the pink sale, which is ongoing right now, only for the whitelist. So you and I don't really get it. I Because I bought the High Point way back in January, right? I've been waiting a long time for this. So it's going to be pretty nice. And High Point's basically got Sim, the guy who made Sphere Finance, also coding the contracts. So it's looking pretty good. All right, we got our very powerful stable of... Because right now, I actually have a very substantial position, and now I'm not going to tell you how much. Actually, the devs could actually check if they really wanted to, so just, I know you're going to be watching, so just, I ask that you can tell the team, maybe the mods, but don't tell them how much money I have in, in this project, because I have a lot, okay? <clears throat> so it's going to be pretty nice, you know, creating a very nice, stable system, and I'm actually somewhat thinking about creating, like, I... Because technically I have my Elite Discord, my own channel. It's just me, because I'm not doing anything with it for now. And, you know, I am thinking, you know, if I were to make my own project, because I can go on Fiverr and, hope, and you know, pay somebody, hopefully trustworthy, four to $10,000 to make this stuff, right? Yeah, I could, uh, I could just simply create, like, a really nice thing. And what I specialize in, obviously, is finding good projects to invest in. You know why that's valuable, right? Because I have a treasury, and all I have to do is invest the treasury, which for some reason most projects don't do that. I don't know why. And then just make ginormous amounts of income. So even if your project gets dumped on, you think I'm going to care? I'm going to have the treasury buy it all back up and say, go F yourself. <laughs> right? And then, of course, there's going to be a taxation system all over the place. So, you know, you want to dump against me, all right, go, go ahead, you know? Like, I'm going to go Harry E on your ass. I don't even think Harry E even has a tax system, you know, because I assume he's kind of like a right-wing guy like me, right? But I keep an open mind, all right? You know, I know how to... I, I'm like the barbarians of Rome, like I've said before. I will use the system against itself <clears throat> for my own personal benefit. It worked out pretty well for the people who sacked Rome, right? So anyway... <clears throat> So I actually made pretty good money off of basically, well, they didn't have a Genesis. They just simply launched, right, which is perfect for me. So I put in, I guess I could sell you. So I put in about 2000 2500 bucks into Polygon, Printer Financial. And I did actually try the bridging function. It actually works really well, uh, which is this. Not to be confused with their gas station, because now I don't remember what the gas station was. Uh, but that's something a little different. And, that's, and I only see that on the... Binance Smart Chain version, the link to it. But anyway, yeah, you just simply, uh, wherever you are, you know, like, like for my case, I'm on Binance Smart Chain, so this would actually, so this wouldn't show up on Binance Smart Chain Printer Financial. And then I simply bridge it over to Polygon, because you don't see it here, because obviously we're on Polygon already. Yeah, it worked per, uh, perfectly well. It's just that if the blockchain is congested, like it was when I did bridge over, <clears throat> Yeah, it could take a little bit, so, you know, because I DM'd uh, them on Twitter, because, you know, we follow each other on Twitter now, so, the the devs for Printer Financial, so, uh, yeah, yeah, it works really well, so, yeah, and the, now, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that when you actually bridge paper to paper, it'll actually burn the paper on your source blockchain, so let's say, in my case, uh, you know, I'm on Binance Smart Chain, I bridge over, like, 100 paper, 
a hundred paper on Binance Smart Chain gets uh, eliminated and burned, like goes away forever, right? So thus it's deflationary. And then the protocol on the target blockchain, which in my case would be Polygon, it'll mint a hundred paper. So that's why you can see the total supply here. And, you know, because I actually watched it. I was like, yeah, it actually went up by 20 because that's me. Right? Because I only bridged over 20. I prefer to just simply because, you know, I have all the money all over the place. So I just simply X pollinated to Polygon. I sold some sphere, obviously, to fund the poly. Because I think at one point, Polygon Printer Financial was printing like 100% APR or something. I don't remember. Something, something ridiculously high. So I was like, you know what? Time. Time to farm, all right. Time to farm, farm the hell out of it, and then you know, I, uh, you know, and I bought a lot of effing paper. Okay, I bought a lot of paper. So and uh, even and then of course last night when I checked the APRs and it's now more normal, which we're gonna go over in a second. Uh, I was actually interested. Was like, yeah, this does create arbitrage because Binance Smart Chain paper was like a dollar thirteen, and then on Polygon it was a dollar sixteen. So on the other hand, I kind of didn't want to cause dumping pressure, but I don't think you can help it. It's like you're going to cause dumping pressure, uh, dumping pressure regardless. But I mean, I technically that's supposed to happen because all the paper prices and really, I don't know about the ink. Actually, in a way, the ink too. But specifically the paper, the base pay token, the price is actually supposed to be even across the board. And this thing was obviously designed with arbitrage in mind because that's what I'm describing, right? It even says right here in the front page. Um... Oh well, I pretty well. I know they mentioned the word arbitrage somewhere. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. All right. Yeah. Well. Well. Whatever. But oh, hey, did this just go up a penny? Yeah. So I wound up just uh, selling the paper here because I thought because because it wouldn't make sense for me to bridge from a higher price to a lower price. Then I'm then I'm negative arbitrage. I lose three cents per paper. So I sold it here. Which I didn't really want to do, but there was no other thing. Convert it all in the die stable coin that I expollinated, like you know, I think two grand or whatever, and just put, put I just bought up a bunch of paper and buying smart chain, which funny enough caused price impact to go up. <laughs> I think specifically four and a half percent. So it doesn't actually take much to really like raise these prices, which is why I actually now I'm starting to understand why you know super predators can like really damage your project. It doesn't take much money to pump and dump a project, which is why you really have to have some kind of working taxation system. So, yeah, so if I were to, so right now I have to eventually create like smart APR 3.0 system and I'm trying to figure out how would I do a tax system, right? Because let's, let's say I have my own like, you know, printer financial thing. Would I really put a buy tax on the uh, on the paper token? I actually would probably just put a sell tax on this because I want to encourage people to buy the pay, so no taxes. But you want to dump on it, right? You know, yeah, well, you know, I, well, me as a project, right, the devs, you know, I will want a little slice of that, right? So that when the Harry's and Brandos and Super Predators of Phantom and wherever else they may lurk, right, cross chains, of course, you know, I get a, I get a portion of that. Hey, you want to make a million dollars? Well, give me 5% of that. Give me 10%. You know, that fifty dollars to $100,000, if it were me, I would immediately buy the dip, right? So everyone's flooding and say, oh, this project's dead. It's at zero cents. Well, what do you think will happen if I pumped fifty to 100000 right then and there? Oh, well, the project comes back to life instantly. That's the power of, the, of a proper taxation system. Now, I really doubt that, you know, someone would actually dump a million dollars like that. <laughs> All right, and they did. Thanks. You know. Also, I'm gonna want 20%. All right. You know. You know, I'm gonna be very aggressive. Right? There's one thing us Chinese people are really good at. It's being aggressively finan uh, financial, financially aggressive. That uh, that's it. But not being huge assholes about it. Well, it's not usually. All right. So anyway, that's uh, I don't even know where I'm gonna. I'm all over the place right now, but. Yeah, definitely try the bridge because I know the devs were also telling me to try the bridge. Yeah, it really works, right? So, and of course, it's made for arbitrage, so just keep that in mind, uh, you know. But the bridging actually really helps the protocol because, again, it burns your paper on the source chain and rewards it on the new chain. And, every, and then everything else, you know, you know, works. Okay, man, it feels like it's been forever since I did, like, a Tomb Fork video, so I, I might be a little rusty here. 
Okay, well, the good news is he conveniently left this out here. So all I have to do, well, I don't need to look at the single deposit. And we don't have to do a smart APR system because obviously these these men, I mean, they have some women in here too. Uh, you know, they've already proven themselves intelligent. So that's why we don't have to do it. Because yeah, you know, when I do the, when I, I still, it's in my content queue, but right now I've been trying to deliberately slow down my content because I personally just want to, I really could use some more rest, right? Especially with all these new launches, so. But anyway, I know that they, they know what they're doing, so, yeah. Okay, so it appears that I made a mistake because now it's at 5.16. So why the hell did this thing earlier tell me it was like 2%? Oh, maybe, so maybe I should not have uh, bridged over so soon. Dang it. Because this is actually paying... Uh, 2% more than Binance Smart Chain, because right now in the Binance Smart Chain, it's paying, uh, well, actually, what will happen is people will buy a bunch of paper on Binance Smart Chain, bridge it over here using their built-in bridge function, and then LP it into, oh, boy, it's turning a little complicated, yeah, and then and they'll take it, dang it, but here's the thing, I really don't want to be pumping and dumping and moving from chain to chain, not only do I find that personally annoying, Right, I actually really don't like because now at my at my point, I actually have a lot of money, so I have, I really want to be uh, respectful of the price impact because not only does it hurt me personally, but it could potentially hurt the project. So you know, and I obviously don't want that, but I gotta admit, man. Yeah. So technically, so if I had if if I had spare cash, I would. And it wasn't going to cause a problem. I would definitely move all my Binance into this because this is paying way more. It also, funny enough, has more TVL. But again, you have to also look at this. The reason why the APR is very high is because right now the price of ink shares is very high. This is this, of course this thing just launched, so the price, the sh ink price shares are very high. But across the board, I think ink shares are actually twenty dollars. So I am kind of expecting this to go down further. So thus the APR here will go down. Oh, okay, so I guess I, I'm not going to beat myself. It's like, yeah, I'm missing out 2% daily. Yeah, whatever, you know. I'll just I'm gonna leave it in my buy and smart chain because I want only one page. All right? I have too many tabs open in my Chrome. So, by the way, make sure you upgrade your Chrome immediately because Google literally sent out a worldwide alert saying this is a hypercritical hack. You need to update Chrome right up now or you're going to lose all your shit. So make sure you do that, all right? All right, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's, it's even on Forbes, all right? They link, like, Titano linked to the Forbes article talking about that. That's how bad it is, okay? So just make sure you do it. It's very quick. It's very easy. You know, all it is is just go to About Chrome, update, auto, auto Update, and then restart your browser. If you don't restart the browser after you update, then you're still vulnerable. All right, so anyway, so this is a pleasant surprise. So 5%, that's what I'll say. Uh, very nice. Uh, forty-three percent. This is the paper. This is ink paper. So base pig token and share LP, and then forty-nine percent. Okay, so I can set the YouTube title say five to forty-nine. You're still getting a ridiculous amount of money. I bet Renzo is gonna be all over it because he actually plays the shares. I don't touch shares anymore. But if you want somebody who can play, who who makes a crap load of money, he actually shows his real money, which is. Something I would never do, but yeah, he he spends like ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, all right. So you know, and he does shares, so he makes a stupid amount of money, all right. I, I I'm pretty sure he's like, you know, I'm actually gonna ping him. I'm actually gonna ping him right now. I don't know, yo, I'm doing the polygon. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm typing in the elite Discord. Yo, I'm doing the polygon printer financial video now. And you may be interested in the shares there. 49% daily still, 133 per share. It's worth 20 cross chain, so be careful if you're interested. Okay, uh, let me send him the link and then he can take a look at the rest. All right, so anyway. Yeah, so five to forty-nine percent. So that's actually good. Even though I had to, even though I waited a day, this is still paying a really good daily APR. So this is Ink Matic. Wow, the TVL on this is very low. So it's clearly obvious that a lot of people are very cognizant of the risks. Yeah, 
See, actually, Renzo will have to be very careful. Like, if he puts in 10K, this thing is going to shoot up like 50%. <laughs> so, but I mean, he's the expert on playing shares. Like, I don't touch that. I don't touch this because, like, this is just too hard for me. Plus, I don't actually have just 10, 20, 30 grand, not yet, just lying around, you know, at random. All right. So, okay. All right. So, I could do that. All right, so if I understand this correctly, the boardroom is not live yet. I should probably go on their uh, thingy. So let me write down before I forget, 5% to 49% daily APR. So I remember for the, for the thingy, YouTube title. And of course, I mean, this thing literally just launched like yesterday. So, you know. So paper, not surprisingly, should be matching the price of paper across the board, which is about dollar thirteen, dollar fourteen as of this making. And then ink shares, I assume this will keep going down until it reaches its natural uh, uh, intrinsic value, which currently is around twenty dollars. If I actually check, right now it's nineteen dollars and sixty-two cents for the Binance Smart Chain uh, Chain version of ink. Yeah, which which makes which is fine by me because right now things are kind of like in a little bit of a flux. So I can leave me a little bit of profit taking here and there, so you know. And but Bitcoin's already going up, and so are major cryptocurrencies. Can you see this? Yeah. So let's see, because Bitcoin should be forty eight thousand any hour now. Uh, Avalanche is already pushing for ninety six, so it'll be a hundred dollars soon. It's so weird to see the icons here look distorted. What's good old Phantom doing? Dollar uh, forty six, so not too bad. It's dollar forty six. I know Cardano's been popping off too. Yeah, so it's looking really good. You know, Federal Reserve and the central banks of this world are continuing their evil little wicked ways. All right, they're doing this thing. All right, so you know, dollars are literally being printed at pretty much a couple trillion dollars with a T every year or whatever the hell they're doing. And of course, they're they recently just said, yeah, we don't care. We're going to keep buying more assets. So the hyperinflation cycle is going to keep going. Like, if you, like not, if you think paper is expensive now, which it really isn't, right? Well, wait until it hits, like, $10, all right? And then the one thing I do have to now start looking at, now that Bitcoin's going up, is this. All right, so this turned out to be a bug, I think. Because when I check on Chrome, it, what is wrong with this thing? Yeah, it's clearly something wrong with either Google or um, Brave or something. This is not correct, but it's still kind of low. All right, you know what? I need to. I we actually need to know this, so I'm going to try putting this into Chrome instead of Brave. I mean, Brave might be having a problem with this. All right, never mind. I'm actually getting the same exact problem on Chrome. All right, so it's actually a problem with Google. So I guess the but they did report last week not as zero but as fifteen. So this is going to be a slight problem. It's like delayed. A week. A week could literally mean the difference between Bitcoin at a million and Bitcoin crashing from 1 million to 50,000 or at 95% drop. All right, well, I guess, uh, yikes. Okay, well, we got this, right? Look at the fear and greed index. We're talking, man, this thing went from 22 to 56. Is Google Trends broken? Let me see if there's uh oh, there's some guy. I just want to see if. I wonder. I mean, this is such a like rare thing. I don't know. I was kind of hoping to see if like Google put out some kind of alerts for this. No, I don't want. No, I'm looking for uh, some kind of technical announcement saying, yeah, there's a problem with Google. Trend. This is really problematic. We, we need to know what the... Wait. Today is Tuesday. Google does not release data this early. That's right. Okay. So, I know my mind's all over the place. So, all right. So, anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, definitely try the bridging function. Like, you should actually take a look because you can do some... Arbit you can actually do arbitrage, right? Because that's what it was designed to. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. So right now, if we go to, yeah, let's do a real. Let's do, we can do a real whatever. Dollar fifteen. I'm buying. Oh wow. So everything's going up for paper. Yeah. And then they haven't released this video yet too.
Okay, so here you go. Here's an example of arbitrage. So this is Phantom. You can purchase your paper right now for $1.13. And you can, you can buy up until it starts costing one fifteen again. So you get a one and two cent profit arbitrage. Bridge it all over to say Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, right? Oh, I gotta switch. Right? And then you make a one or two cent profit on each paper, right? Depending on whatever you, the AMM gives it to you for, right? So you go on Spooky Swap, buy a bunch of paper, up until it's $1.15, right? You have to use your deck screener for that. I'm not going to do it here. Yeah, and then just make some money, right? <clears throat> because now that Liberals also finally, like, assuming their wrapped Libero thing works, because that's how they have to go cross chain, because I assume they're going to do something somewhat like what Printer Financial is doing, right? And then the most logical way to do it is. At least that's what I think, because I don't actually know the technicals behind this, right? Let's say I'm buying Smart Chain, I have Libero, I want to transfer it to Phantom, because I see an arbitrage opportunity, right, for profit. So it'll burn Libero on my end, let's say 10,000, use a small number, all right? So that's like a what? $80 worth, right? As of this running, $83 worth. And then I'll get the same 10,000 printed on, on Phantom Libro. But I mean, they're going to use something different, I think. So, but yeah, you know, I'm just guessing. But yeah, there's an example. I'm not going to do it personally, but yeah, there's an example right here at Arbitrage. I mean, everyone can do it too. So it's actually really cool. And yeah, if you remember, I think when I did my very first printer financial video, I don't remember what paper it was. I just remember it was a lot lower. It's like, what? 20, 30, 40, 50 cents, 60 cents. Yeah, look at it now. It's $1.15, all right? And they're going to release on Harmony. I'm actually going to, I mean, I'm pretty sure it does let me know, but I'll make sure I leave a a thingy, a DM. I'm sure they'll DM me as well. Oh, okay. Well, they unfollowed me, but that's okay. You probably just need, oh, yeah, because you have to follow me in order to send me a DM, but we have the DMs open, so that's all right. Do you pay your price? So I would reduce the amount of paper needed to get gas from the gas station. Now three paper. Yeah, I don't know what their gas station function is. So I don't know, but I mean, I used to. What is it this thing do? I forget. V two is a. Don't forget, V two look is coming. A better bridge and non EVM chains are coming. Oh, are they gonna go on like something that's? Oh, that means non Ethereum, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, see, these guys know what they're freaking doing. I mean, they're going ham. They're even expanding. I assume this means they're going on non-Ethereum-based blockchain. So maybe they might go to, like, Kron uh, not Kronos, uh, Cosmos, right? Because that's something I'm technically not very active in, but it's definitely, a uh, it's, it's definitely their own little system, right? So, yeah, looks really good. But yeah, I'm not surprised they're doing well. They know how to code. They know what they're doing. They're smart. And more importantly, they understand tokenomics. All right. You know, that's why they're using the smart APR system. Their boardroom doesn't print that many clowns, right, per epoch, right, which, of course, isn't starting for another 50, 50 hours. And well, what else am I saying? Oh, yeah, they're all over the place now. So paper is going to definitely go much higher because, one, they know what they're doing. They're a very smart team, right? So fundamentally, they've got all the, like, right now they're at six projects. Harmony is the next block target blockchain, right? I'm actually going to ask them to let me know when they're going to launch. So I don't know if I'm going to do Harmony. I actually, you know what? I probably will. It's good for me to try new things because I also know that on day one, you know, it's going to print like 100% APR or whatever. So I, I, I want to profit off of that, accumulate even more paper, and then, of course, I'll probably bridge it all back to Binance Smart Chain because that's my home chain, right? You know? And ultimately, all these chains are supposed to be the same prices anyway. So there's no point in having six tabs open. So just, so just pick the ch your preferred blockchain. I just happen to like Binance Smart Chain, but everyone else likes... You know whatever they use that's totally fine and i encourage that right and not everyone should be like me i mean that'd be kind of cool but that's just not how it works but it's not necessary so you know when they have 12 right and they oh yeah and their twitter just said a v2 look so they obviously do have to change the look of the site right i mean i it's nice and simple 
right? But, I mean, we have, like, right now they're at 6. Eventually it's going to be, like, 12 and then 18, right? Like, they're going to have to obviously redo the UI. So, you know, that's good, right? So they already have everything thought out. There's not much more for me to say. And if I keep rambling, this video will be, like, needlessly 50 minutes instead of uh, 25 minutes and 10 seconds. Oh yeah, thanks to YouTube. They actually instantly approved my monetization. I'm actually I'm actually quite humbled about it. Like I thought like YouTube was gonna give me like such a hard time and like nag me and shit, but apparently they're like, yeah, no no no. Yeah, this channel makes money. This channel makes money. Approve them, approve them, approve them. It was like, alright, you know, it's like, you know, I scratch their back, Google scratches my back. And which is nice because, you know, I'd rather have that than them like kicking me down the staircase, you know. So, because I was really concerned that, like, my warnings, which never go away on my YouTube channel, would actually, you know, cause me problems, but, yeah. But, I mean, I cleaned up my channel already, you know, I deleted pretty much all the really crazy political stuff, and now this is just strictly, mostly, you know, a cryptocurrency stuff. Obviously, we still have to cover geopolitical risks, right, and my Twitter definitely does that, but that's because it clearly, I mean, you have to talk about it, otherwise... You know, like, if, again, if China annexes Taiwan, oh, you can bet. Everyone's going to go into bonds, stocks will sell off, and cryptocurrencies will probably sell off, too, because everyone's going to be, like, scared to death, right? Because they think World War III is going to come. All right, because we, we, we just experienced that with the whole Russia-Ukraine thing. So, anyway, definitely check out Polygon Printer Financial, especially for all you uh, sphere heads like me, right? You probably got in the sphere, right? I, I, thank you, by the way, to everyone on the YouTube comments. It's going to suck because eventually I won't be able to keep up with it, but, you know, thanks to all the new people, we're growing very well. I finally got my YouTube monetization back instantly. It's supposed to take 7 to 30 days. But they, <laughs> so, they, I really like that. I, I'm actually very grateful and humble, right? It's very rare that I would actually keep praise on Google, right? Because everyone kind of wants to hate on them, but, you know... You know, I guess they, they really do take care of you as long as you don't try to screw them over, right? So, and I'm not trying to screw over Google, right? So, works for me, man. Works works for me. So, yeah, thanks to YouTube and Google. So, you know, hopefully I'll be use that to, you know, print a little bit of rent money. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, share, uh, blah, blah, blah. Don't keep this info to yourself. Spread it around, right? Because, again... You know, we only get stronger if everyone works together, right? It's not like the old world where, like, you got to keep it all to yourself and then screw everybody else over. That model can still technically work, but it's not a very nice model, right? Because you're going to wind up becoming like, oh, yeah, I didn't comment on this, but, yeah, you're going to be like Will Smith, right? You're just going to go up to uh, Chris Rock and go super slap on, right? He's like, don't you effing blah, 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 my wife, you stupid effing, effing, f you stupid, you asshole. They do it in front of the entire world. That's the best. It was like, I sent my Twitter trends to Uganda because I don't want to, you know, whatever here, right? Get any of the stupid America propaganda news bullshit because I know it's all a distraction. This is literally, even in Uganda, they're talking about, look at this, look at this. <laughs> This is the number one trend, top 2010 trends on Uganda. It's so funny. It's like, holy shit. I have to take a look at it. Like, it's still trending. Smack him, Will Smith, right? And then now it's going back to, slowly back to whatever happens in Uganda. Because, you know, it, it's like, wow, what is going on? <laughs> I'm not going to play it, obviously, because, you know, obviously I don't want like any violent stuff showing up, but, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you could juice this tweet, though. I think it should still be around here. Because there hasn't been, I haven't, there hasn't really been much. Yeah, this, this tweet. Kudos to Chris Rock for surviving Will Smith's super slapper attack. I should have actually wrote super slapper instead, but. Exactly, the Oscars. No normal man can withstand such a powerful assault. So, yes. Kudos to Chris Rock. You uh, really do rock. And uh, now you can tell a uh, survival story of how you survived Will Smith's dreaded super slapper attack. Super slapper. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.